Hello everybody, welcome back. Thank you for joining me for another video. Alrighty, so um, I cannot show you the dried results of the uh, light blue painting because it's still not dry yet because I did do it so last minute, um, but I will show it to you guys in the next video. Um, it's half dry, so you'll just have to wait to the next video. Um, today I am going to be working on one of my uh, wood hardboard rounds for you guys. So I'll tell you guys what I'm up to, but really quickly, I did want to mention uh, at the after this intro, I am going to show you guys a little quick video clip of all the pieces I currently have available for purchase. So I've laid them out all on the floor here down in the studio and I will show you guys all the pieces and um, there are pieces that are really old and then there are pieces that are fairly new like the color splits. Um, so depending on the piece, some pieces are up to 50% off. So this is a clearance, clear out, blowout, whatever you wanna call it, sale. Um, my color splits, when you see in the video, those aren't on sale because I literally have just finished doing them. However, there are other pieces that I have had for months and months that I would like to see go to a new home. So they have been um, marked down. So after this intro, you'll see that little video. And if anyone is interested in any of those pieces, you can email me at canelaseraco at gmail.com to inquire about pricing. All right, um, wood rounds. So this is the last day, because I believe you're watching this on Sunday, July 12th, June, June, not July, June, June 12th. Um, so this is the last day to order wood rounds. Um, Pre-orders will end today at the end of the day, and that is it. So if you want to order these hardboard rounds, you must email me and place your order before the end of the day, and that is it. I have probably over a hundred orders from when I opened this whole pre-ordering up. So I've got a lot of work cut out for me, and so does my supplier. Um, she's got uh, thousands of these to cut out and get ready for everyone who has um, pre-ordered. So I've got four inch rounds, four inch squares, eight inch, 10 inch and 12 inch rounds. So if you want details and pricing, you must email me by the end of the day. Um, and that's it, I'm not gonna get any more. Um, so, because my supplier lives super far away now that I've moved to London, and it just makes it really, really hard for me to get together with her and pick up an order when I have to drive hours um, to go and get them. And so uh, that's why I'm not doing it anymore. So get your orders in. Um, we still have one spot left in the Fluid Art Naples, uh, Florida workshop due to a cancellation. So we have one spot now for the Sunday, July 10th morning class. If you are interested in attending the Naples, Florida uh, workshop with myself and Tammy Anderson, um, please email us at fluidartescape at gmail.com. All right. Um, that is pretty much it. Um, oh no, I lied. I wanted to, so you guys saw the last video with the resin and the octopus and all that fun stuff. If you hadn't, haven't seen it, go and check my previous video out. Um, I'm so happy with the way all of those, uh, turned out, but I promised you guys, I would show you guys the fruit slices in the molds. And so look how crystal clear it is. I'm super duper happy with um, how these turned out. There is one tiny bubble in here. It got trapped underneath my fruit slice, um, but what are you gonna do, right? And then here's the apple slice. So um, I am pretty happy with how these turned out and they are very, very clear. So this two to one and even the one to one casting resin um, are super duper. Look at that, it's like a an apple slice just trapped in time. Um, but yeah, so these are super cute and they worked out really, really well. So I'm really happy with that. So um, now I will bring you guys down and uh, show you guys what I'm up to. So let's get started. All right, everybody. So I am going to show you guys all the pieces that I currently have 
available for purchase. And if there's anything you see that you may like or might like, you can email me at canelaseraco at gmail.com. Now, some of these pieces are discounted up to 50% off. Um, some may be 40, some 30. It really depends on the piece and how old it is or how new it is. Um, so if there's anything you see that you might like, just email me and inquire. All right, so here we have, I believe an 18 by 24 inch. That is my St. Patrick's Day pour. I've got these really cool resin hands, um, this blue pyramid, mermaid tail. Then I have a set of four black coasters. You can see they have purples and blues and green in them. And then I have these little single coasters here. This is a 12 by 16 inch hot pink from my All About That base series. Um, this is a small little, I think eight inch wood round. So it was done with resin uh, very, 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 very long time ago. Uh, that is 11 by 14, again, from the All About the Bay series. This is my Smoky Blue. It's a tw uh, 16 by 20 inch. Then I have here this uh, bigger piece. I believe this is a 24 by 36, I'm pretty sure. Um, this has all the desert-like colors. Uh, over here, we have an 18 by 24 inch with uh, purples and look at all that shimmer in there. So, and it comes with a frame, a floating frame. So that's an 18 by 24. And then over here, we have a 16 by 40 color split. This one's got, I apologize for the reflection, but that's what happens with resin. Um, so that is a 16 by 40 inch. And here I have the Ukraine piece. That is a 16 by 20. All proceeds from the sale of this painting will go to help those in Ukraine. Uh, this is a 10 by 20. Again, a much older piece. This has yellows and green and turquoise in it. Uh, super pretty. This I call my peacock pour because it's like peacock type colors. This is a 16 by 20 inch. Look at that light reflection. <laughs> and then over here, I have a, I think it's a 20 inch round. And this one was done using um, all the Amsterdam pearl colors. And then finally, I have this piece, which I believe also is an 18 by 24 inch color split. And you can see the shimmer in there. And then last but not least, I've got these three pieces here. Um, so we've got the peach color split, the mustard yellow color split, and the dusty rose. And they are all resined and ready to go. So if you are interested in any of these pieces here, Oh, and these coasters, sorry. So I've got uh, these washi tape coasters. So look at that, set of four. And then I also have a black set, if you are interested in the black set. And then these cute fruits, fruit slices, okay? And then the uh, lovely ladies. These are a little bit bigger in terms of size. You can see much bigger and then these as well my whale ocean themed um coasters which are pretty big so yes there you have it now you've seen it all so if you are interested in any of these pieces um like i said some of them are discounted up to 50 percent off so if you are interested in any of these please email me at canelaseraco at gmail.com. 
All right, everybody. So I have here one of my 12 inch hardboard rounds and you can see I have taped the bottom. Okay. And what I did was I actually put an eight inch round underneath just to keep it flat. Um, so I have my little cups here, but then I wanted to put this on here and then this on top just so that it has a more flat surface for it to lay on while the paint is drying. So I just want to make sure I didn't mess anything up and everything is still perfectly level. Yes, perfectly level. Great. All right. So my plan for this is to turn it into a clock when I'm done. Now, whether time permits that, haha, <laughs> pun intended. I just literally thought of that. Um, I'm hoping to have this done, resined, and get the clock parts attached to show you guys the final results by the end of this video. Now, obviously this is gonna be a multi-step process. The paint needs to dry, then I need to add a top coat of resin, that needs to dry, then I need to drill a hole through the center and then add my clock parts and get it all done. Um, so right now I'm recording this on Thursday morning and I'm doing it because I'm actually going away this weekend on Sunday. Um, my husband has purchased, this was my Mother's Day gift from Mother's Day in May, and uh, we're going to go see a concert. Um, so I'll be gone. So I'm trying to get this done before um, we head out to go to this concert. We're going to go see the Lumineers. Um, so that's exciting. But yes, I'm going to try and get this all done. If for some reason I can't get it done, I will show you guys the clock results in the next video. All right, so uh, my base paint is going to be my Artist Loft Flow Acrylic Black. I just have it mixed in here with water and Floetrol. I like to use these big bottles, fill them up, and then that way I have a bunch of paint whenever I need it. So Artist Loft Flow Acrylic Black, and then um, all my paint colors are here. So I decided to do a black base and all my paints, for those of you who are new watching, you can find the ratios and my mixtures of how I mix my paints with water and Floetrol in video number 434. I will link it up here at the top for those of you who want to check out the video. Um, so the colors I'm going to be using today, um, I try to stick to all Arteza because I really love the way the Arteza Pearl paints shimmer and glow on a black base. Um, so I'm going to start off with Pearl Lime Green by Arteza. Then I have Pearl Ocean Blue, Arteza. Then I'm doing Pearl White, Arteza. And then I'm sneaking in the Iridescent Green Yellow by Pebeo because I really, really love this color with the blues. And then topping it off, I have Pearl Turquoise by Arteza. So these are my colors, blues and, and greens. I originally had purples, but then I'm like, no, I've done the blue purple, I wanna do greens. So those are my colors. And then I'm hoping, as I mentioned, that I this all dries. It should dry pretty quick because it is such a small piece. And then here are my clock parts. So these are from Bare Wood. Um, that is where I get my sculpted panels here. I shall show you super quick. So for example, this is something I'm going to show you guys in an upcoming video. Uh, I don't know when, but I will. So this is from Bear Woods. Okay. And the information, the website, and you can get a discount, um, is all in the information in the description below my videos. Okay. So my clock parts are from Bear Woods and you can save 5% uh, off your order uh, on the website, okay? So again, that info will be in the description below. So um, I guess I'd say I'd flood my canvas, but it's not a canvas. I'm going to flood my round and I'll be right back. All right, so that must have been the quickest flooding I have ever, <laughs> ever done. Um, super duper quick. 
I've flooded it. I've popped the bubbles. I see a few more. So hold on, let me pop a few more that have surfaced. Let's try that again. All right. And my edges are so thin that I don't have to worry about them. Now, 12 inch round. So I am going to be using my flower hair dryer. It's been a long time since I use this. And I typically only use this on small pieces, small canvases, small pieces. This is from Walmart in the USA. If you are here in Canada, I don't know where you can get it from. I had this sent to me as a gift from a lovely viewer of mine, but it's called Flower and it's by Drew Barrymore, okay? So that is from Walmart. Okay, so I haven't really thought about how I'm gonna do this because this is so small and I'm so used to working on big pieces. Um, just checking, I, I feel like my lighting is off. I'm so sorry. I'm trying to... Okay, I just don't, I want to make sure you guys can see what I'm doing and it's not dark. All right, um, composition, I haven't really, maybe I'm just going to do like a squiggle, kind of like that, I guess, and then blowing it out is going to be definitely interesting. I'm not really sure how I'm going to blow that out, but uh, we'll figure it out as I go along. Um, that's a lot of green, but that's okay. So this is a pretty small piece. I'm not used to working on small pieces. I have been doing these 12 by 36 inch color splits for so long that it's been forever since I've done a little piece. But worst case scenario, if it doesn't work out, I'm, I can scrape it and start again because this is such a small piece. I wouldn't be overly concerned if I had to scrape it and start again all right last color but i do love these blues and greens they look super pretty together i'm going to pop the bubbles hmm how am i going to do this i think obviously i'm going to start here and go this way and then go this way and then the rest i can fiddle with it by blowing it with my mouth so Let's get started. Do you see how I kind of fumbled over here? Because I was like, oh, which way do I go? However, this is really pretty. It's so small. It's just so teeny tiny. Um, so I'm going to fix this a little bit because I kind of want to spread it out. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh, look at that speck that just showed up. I don't like that, so I'm going to get rid of that little speck of green. Oh, I really like this. I like this a lot. Let's see here. Anything else? Oh, that little speck keeps coming back, little bugger. Ooh, I'm liking this. So when this dries, it is going to really shimmer because all the paints are pearl, except for the iridescent from Pebeo. But again, all pearl colors. So um, that's it. I love it. And when this dries, this is going to be a really pretty skin to take off and keep as well. So I'm hoping this is going to dry super quick and then I'll be able to do a coat of resin and then drill a hole right here in the center. So I think this is going to be super pretty. All right. Um, I'd say I'd fix my edges, but there's really nothing to fix here. So I am going to bring you guys in for a close up. Be right back. All right, everybody. So look, well, I'd say scrape the drips and I will. Where's my scraper? <laughs> It's so weird because this is such a small little canvas, sorry, and not even a canvas, it's a piece of wood, but it's still super important, so scrape those drips all the way around, okay? 
I can't see what I'm doing. Okay, you get the idea though. Scrape the drips all the way around. All right, look how pretty it is. I'm so glad I did green and I took out the purple because I think this looks super, super pretty. So let me show you guys up close. Now there's gonna be reflection obviously because of the black base. But look how pretty this is. And I'm noticing I got a few more of the green specks in there, but I'm gonna leave them. I'm talking about right there. So obviously they're popping up, but let me turn the lights off and we'll check out the shimmer. All right, so the flash is on and, oh yeah, of course, there's obviously, this whole thing is going to shimmer. Uh, super duper pretty. So I'm really, really, really hoping that this dries within the next uh, day or so because it's such a small piece. Um, it should hopefully dry super quick and then I can do a top coat of resin on it super quick. And then hopefully show you guys the finished results um, and the clock parts assembled and everything. But look at that, lots of shimmer, lots of shimmer. All right, so there you have it. I'm really hoping that there's gonna be more added to the end of this video, but I just don't know 100% because it really depends on how fast this piece dries. If for some reason it doesn't dry in time and I don't get to resin it and finish the clock in time, I will definitely show you the dried and finished clock piece in the next video. All right, everybody, it is uh, the next, what, it's been two days. So the piece dried. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of sped up the drying process. Something I've never done before is I took the piece and put it out in the sun. Um, I put it out on my patio table uh, and I let the sun just bake it. <laughs> and I needed it to dry super fast. Um, because it wasn't drying as quick as I had hoped. So I put it outside. Um, so uh, my husband drilled a hole. Sorry, you can't see. My, dress, my husband drilled a hole in the back so I can put the clock mechanism in. What I have not done is um, peeled the back of the tape off. So I will show you guys that super quick. Um, and let me plug in my heat gun. You can't do this with a hair dryer. You need a heat gun. All right, so I actually put the clock mechanism so I can actually hold it or I could just hold it like this. Don't don't touch the top of uh, the resin. Don't ever do that here. Hold on. I'm going to flip this up just a bit. There we go. All right. All right. So what you want to do is you want to heat up the back of your piece with your heat gun so that you can easily peel the tape off. You see all my little paint or resin drips there. You see the resin drips? Those need to come off. So let's heat up the back. Always moving the heat gun, not leaving it in the same spot. Okay, and then you should be able to peel it off. Look at that, not a single drip. Super clean. All right, I'm gonna speed you up and do the rest. All right, everybody, so the back is clean. And here, let me show you guys the actual piece. So um, it did dry a little odd in the sun, but hey, uh, I needed it to dry super fast. So I put a top coat of resin on it, trying to get that shimmer in there for you guys. Okay, so now what I wanna do is I'm going to get, I've already put in, like I said, my clock mechanism and it's got a little nut there, and I used my uh, pliers just to make sure the little nut is uh, very tight. And so what goes first is your hour hand. 
So again, depending on where you get your claw cans from, uh, like I mentioned, these ones are from Bear Woods. The information will be listed in the description below. Okay, and then, um, or you can get them from Michael's or whatever. And then it's got this little screw cap. Now the claw cans have a clear plastic protective film on them and I do not pull that off. I leave that on so that when I ship my clocks out or anything out like that to my clients, they, the protective plastic is still on it. Um, so there it is. Now, yes, this is a little too long. Um, so you can get shorter ones, obviously, which I don't have at the moment, or you can cut it. Um, super duper simple. You can just literally cut the tip and round it off. So um, very easy to cut. And then um, pop in a battery and Bob's your uncle. There is your clock, right? Look how cool that is. So there you have it, everybody. Um, the clock is done. So I'm really glad I got this finished so that I can show you guys the final results all in one video. Now, of course, there's a lot of glare happening because of the resin. But yeah, that is how you do a clock and uh, using the wood rounds. So um, I will say this actually before I forget. Um, you saw that I didn't prime the hardboard round um, before I started. You don't have to... Um, but if you're going to be loading a bunch of paint on it, like let's say doing a bloom on it or something like that, um, or even just a Dutch pour where there's going to be a lot of paint on it, it doesn't hurt to prime it just to be on the safe side. Um, if you don't have a uh, primer, which is gesso, if you don't have any gesso, um, that's G E S S O. You get it at Michael's. You can just put two paint, two like layers of white paint or black paint, like, you know, just your regular acrylic paint just to kind of prime it. Okay. So, um, like I said, I didn't prime this one as you saw, uh, would I do it in the future? Probably. But again, it's not, I don't want to say it's not necessary, but to be safe, I would prime it. All right. So uh, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. Did you find this uh, tutorial uh, informative? Like I mentioned, uh, the products are listed in the description below for discounts for the clock hands. And today is the last day. This is Sunday. Jul Again, I was going to say July. Sunday, June 12th. Okay. Uh, is the last day to pre-order your wood rounds. That's it. After today, no more. So email me, canelaseraco at gmail.com if you are interested in pre-ordering your wood rounds. So that is it for me for now. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, have a good day, have a good night, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.